let's hear your love. Oh. Hello, hello. Hey ladies. Hey ladies. Hello, hello, hello. Hello ladies. It's been a while. Okay, I'm gonna wait for a few more. Oh, you like the makeup? Thank you. So, I just wanted to come on here quickly and talk about, you know, okay. So we are, we are in June and I know a lot of things are opening up, which is good, you know, some good things, is, good thing is happening. Some good things are happening. You know so a lot of stuff is reopening which is good because you know we are in retrograde season okay so we're gonna have i think we have like two eclipses in this month we have six planets is going to be in retrograde in this month so there's a lot there's a lot going on okay some people are going crazy um you're gonna see a bunch of crazy stuff going on and this is this is why um you know um after this week i'm not letting anyone else in the group and I wanted to come and talk about that because um, a lot of women um, come in my DMs right here on Instagram and they want to join the group. And, you know, some of them, they never heard, they never heard of Shira before. They don't, know who, they don't know who Shira is. Some of them don't even know what hypergamy means. Um, if you are interested in joining my group, I'm telling you ladies that my group is not a level up group. My group is not for beginners. So I just wanted to let you ladies know that. Um, I don't know if I don't know I, I don't know if Facebook is good. I don't think Facebook, not Facebook, I don't think Instagram allows you to leave your life up for 24 hours like they used to. Um, you either download the video and you you upload it as a story or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But um that was a story like an IGTV. Um I'll probably like every time I go live on here, I'll probably add, add it to um, my YouTube channel for the ladies who have missed it. But anyway, I want to come on here and chit chat with you ladies. But before we do that, I just want to tell you ladies that, uh, you know, my group is not a group for beginners. If you, if you enjoy, if you're joining my group, um, I don't, because I refuse people all the time. Like, uh, thanks girl. Thanks bomb beauty queen. I am not looking to make a quick buck because I said said this from day one. As some people, I tell them to keep their money, use that money to, and put it towards their level up and check me again when they are ready. Because, you know, my group is not a group to teach you how to put on lashes and teach you how to, how to wear your wig and teach you how to put on makeup. Like, we are way past that. We are advanced. I'm not going to teach you how to get $300 cash up from a guy. I'm not going to teach you how to how to get a sugar sugar um daddy and how to get 5k or 500 dollars or anything like that like in my group i'm teaching you how we are learning how to get 100k to 500k that's what we're doing in my group i am a result oriented person my goal is to look to get results hey girl i'm not like those other those other girls that have these groups that have a bunch of women in the group laws and the, and the blind leading the blind like I'm actually hands on in my group like I go live in my group all the time um, I, I conduct um, I host a book meeting a book club meeting every Saturday on zoom the book that we do um, the ladies in the group already know this the book that we are studying right now is the 48 laws of power so I actually read the book from the fire section and I, I i actually have book meeting and zoom meetings for all the ladies to come and join and you know study the books and whatnot because ladies i'm telling you like if you're in a group the real gems are in the fire section some ladies come in the group well the old group a lot of ladies will come in the group this group is the truth thank you love bug thank you it really is yeah, uh, some some women do not know how to utilize the group. Like some people can't find the the fire section. Some of you can't find the about section, and you know on how to um, you know to find the rules of the group. Like every time I join a group, the first thing I go to, I go to the live videos. Not no, no, I go to the fire section. Then I check the group to see if there are any live videos, any previous live videos, because I want to see what this group is about. 
if I don't see any live videos happening, I don't see the admin going live, I don't see the admin posting or anything like that, I don't really stick around. I don't, and even if I stay in the group, I don't, I don't participate. I agree. I downloaded all the books you archived the last group. That is awesome. I have, I have all those files on my Spotify app. That is great. Okay, so the girl, um, the girl that got married over the weekend because you know, great success story because again. She was in the group from day one since April 2018 and she's a girl, she's not about drama, she would come in the group and she would always drop gems. Like every single post that she posted, there was gems in the group so she always gave back. And she would tell you what book she was reading, um, she even talked about, you know, um, the, the Genie Sales book where she talked about, you know, um, negotiating, negotiating her prenup because when she made that post about negotiating her prenup, I thought that post was amazing and I am surprised that that post that this was the old group I'm surprised that this post that post didn't get the attention that it deserved because at the same time everybody was going on and on about the hypergamous legend because I don't know if you guys remember that drama okay and um, you know that that's basically where all the drama started um, when she made that post and she talked about you know um, getting her prenup negotiated that's in the book and they tell you exactly how to do it and then you know when she when she got married when she got married and he was like oh girl you did everything perfectly like everything you did I was according to the book your group brings results thank you yeah okay like she she did everything according to the book and then I have someone going under the post and talking about oh that was so gutsy of her that was so gutsy that ain't got nothing to do with gutsy and then she talking about some guy left some girl at, at, at an altar over a prenup first of all if you read the book and you read the post in a group you would know that it's not even going to get to the point where a guy is going to be walking away from you on a, with a prenup because first of all if you're negotiating 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 the prenup you don't negotiate it with him you know you let your you let your lawyer and his lawyer negotiate that prenup and you let him pay for your lawyer so if a guy is paying for your lawyer to negotiate your prenup, he's already investing. He's going to want to get um, that prenup done over and done with. He, want, he would want to come to a solution more than anything. So, um, you know, there's nothing gutsy about it. It's all about strategy. Exactly. Lawyers negotiate between each other. It's all about strategy, ladies, because, you know, like we're not doing we're not doing this on a whim and, you know, we're not chasing fairy tales and chasing love or anything like that. That's not what we do in my group. We don't do that. So um, she did everything. And this is a 40 year old single mother and she secured a bag. And I'm so proud of her because when I saw when I saw it, I was so happy. I was so happy because I saw her doing the work. She was putting in the work. Okay, sweetie, the book is in the group, honey. We did, we already did um, a, Zoom, um, a Zoom call with that book. I can't remember the name of the book. Which one? It was one of the Genie Sales book. Yeah, she's 40. She's 40. Okay, so, you know, like, you know, don't listen to, do not listen to people telling you, oh, it can't be done, who you think you are, um, you bitches hit the wall. Like, when I am... Um, <laughs> That video I did on my channel talking about um, how older women can level up and I said in that video that uh, you know there is no such thing as hitting the wall one other guy was like what no such thing as hitting the wall ha 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 that wall is coming faster than a, than a fat kid to a big mac or some some crap like that I was like I just laugh I look at a comment and laugh and I was like thanks for watching because people are gonna come at you like with that type of negativity and if you already have that limiting belief that, you know, your age is keeping you back and high quality men only want super young women, like, come on. How can people join the group? DM me. Um, the group is a paid group. So if you, if you cannot pay, DM me when you are ready. If you cannot pay now. If you cannot join the group this week, the group will be, will be, will be reopened in July. I will, I'll announce it. But after this week, the group, the group is closed to new members. His mom is probably a single mom. That's why he said it. Exactly. Hey, oh, hey, Kelsey, Nicole. <laughs> hey, hey, she's like, hey, Maria, it's the other Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, so, 
she got married she secured the bag and she did everything according to the book like when you come in my group my group is about results like we're not there for we're not we're not there for play play it's either you're doing the work or you're not doing the work because a 40 year old black woman from the south got mar in my group got married to a millionaire over the weekend okay nothing is impossible you lo you ladies have to change your life change your life change your mindset work on your mindset and you're gonna start seeing results it only took her two years it took her two years maybe a little over two years but it's only it only took two years okay and like I said before and I'm gonna keep saying this from now on I am not responsible for what you do with the information that you receive in my group in my YouTube videos here on Instagram on Facebook I am not responsible for the, the information you receive because when the group was free there were people in the group abusing the information taking screenshot posting the screenshot on other platforms um, so that they can bash us and mock us okay the group is the truth you are not in the group you are missing out big time yeah exactly they're, they're missing out but again my group is not for beginners because I do turn away people like if you've never heard if you've never heard of Shira um, you're not you're not in a level of group you don't know anything about hypergamy or whatnot I I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take you in the group I'm gonna just tell you to follow keep watching my YouTube videos watch Shira videos okay because I'm not a selfish person like I, I encourage you, you ladies to listen to other people so that you guys can get you guys can have like a different opinion and a different perspective I'm not gonna be like oh only listen to me because my ego is not that big okay yes you remember that yeah you remember when they were um, um abusing the group abusing other people's um violating other people's privacy people went as far as to message a woman's husband granted that woman's husband was a dusty so i wouldn't even say that that was much damage that was a lot of damage but just imagine like if this guy was um a multi-millionaire or something like that i mean if that if it was it probably wouldn't happen this this only happened to dusty people but yeah but you know she made a post and they screenshot the post and, and send it to her husband that's the type of bullshit that was going on in the old group which is why i had to shut the group down and that's not the first time that group has been shut down that group has been shut down before and i was like you know what i don't even think i'm ever going to open that group again because people do not appreciate people people this is this is why we can't have nice things you see this is why we can't have nice things people don't appreciate good things That's why I don't accept friend requests. Girl, listen, if you're on this journey and you're married, just unfriend your husband or use a fake account or something because you cannot trust these people. Okay, because the ladies in the the ladies in the old group literally broke my trust. Like I cannot trust anyone. Like so sometimes if I know I'm going to record a Zoom, I tell you ladies, just turn off your cameras. That's, that's how bad my trust has been broken. Like, I, it's, it's going to take me a while to build that type of trust. So even though I'm screening people to come in the group or whatnot, like, the trust is still not there. Okay? So, like I was saying, my group is not for beginners. So only ladies who are beginners and, you know, you've never been, like, you've never had a guy took you out to, like, a five-star restaurant or anything like that just just keep watching my youtube channel and when you think you're ready come you come to me when you're ready because when you come in my group you have to put the work in and i need to see results because i want to see a lot more marriages i want to see a lot more bad securing in my group and i know it's going to happen because i'm telling you ladies mark my words it's, it's going to happen you're going to see it happening we appreciate okay hold on friends will grow to envy you that is true i just upload i just um recorded a video that, that i'm gonna upload soon about watching the company you keep so look out for that that's so sad people are like that yeah people people will break your trust and like you and it's people that you're trying to help like you are trying to help these people i ugh, ungrateful bitches ungratefulness is worse than witchcraft that's what it says in the bible okay Was a few mentioned? Was a few mentioned what? <laughs> a 
okay so ladies that's what i i just wanted to come i actually wanted to <laughs> ungrateful bitches for real yeah they they, they are ungrateful oh i can't wait for the video the journey is lonely at first but eventually you will be surrounded by the right woman i'm telling you i'm telling you ladies you really do have to watch the company you keep because it can, it can literally be a matter of life and death i seen people um got murdered because they were in the wrong company got maimed got injured got hurt because they were in the wrong company you really gotta watch the company you keep especially if you are on a are on a hypergamous journey because you know when you start um dating high value men and you start meeting high value people they're gonna be looking at you like that's your friends you know so just watch the video i'm gonna up i'm gonna try to upload the video tomorrow because you know i have to edit and stuff my family used to say ungratefulness is worse than obia it really it really is and i'm not even against <laughs> that type of stuff but it really it really is you know and it's like all the people that were doing that were my people because i have a global audience i have Asian girls. I have girls from Indonesia in my group. I have girls from um, what's this word? What's this this country? Indonesia. What's the other country? I can't remember. I think it's the Philippines or Taiwan or so. I have girls. I have girls from Asia in my group. I have a lot of girls in Africa in my group. I have girls from the Caribbean in my group. I have girls in Europe in my group. I have a girl that is um is in Lithuania, one of those um European countries. I have girls that are in Denmark and different countries. Like I have a global audience okay so like i my 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 goal is not to um have like an all black group or anything like that because it this is this is more than this this is more than race or whatnot this is why i don't really subscribe to that type of stuff but i have a global audience and for some reason all the people that were trolling and doing all that shit were my people and and then they wonder why they can't have nice things and they wonder why they are attracting and manifesting these horrible experiences to their life but you know it is what it is okay i'm so mindful about who i keep around me it's a reflection of who i am exactly that is so true even dusty men will judge you harsh by your friends <laughs> girl you know that they be the most judgmental I'm not against Obia either, but Caribbean people love to see that. Yeah. Then you know, you know they judge, and they judge. They, they, these, these people are looking at you. That they're looking at your every move, especially if you're new, because you know, um, you know, in the group, we talk about social strategies. We already have things. Things are still opening up, and we already had success stories of people going out there and social climbing and meeting real quality people through the friends that they meet through social climbing we've already had um you know results and wh when did we start this group like in april march april somewhere around there the new group so this is the first group i've come across in a long time that isn't race obsessed breath of fresh air that is so sad like i don't even stay in those groups. i leave i leave those groups Cause from the minute I start, from the minute I see conversations like uh, light skin privilege and white privilege and all that that BS, I leave because I do not want to be in that space because that is low vibration. I don't want to be in that space. We are supposed to be able to transcend all of that. April twenty twenty, yes, the new group started literally two years after um, the first group, so maybe. Maybe I don't know, cause that April was like April was our anniversary, our two two year anniversary because we started in April twenty eighteen. That's for the people with mental blockages exactly, and you know we gonna we have we have been talking about mental blockages and that is gonna be one of the topic, the topics that we're gonna be discussing every week, along with inner work inner work Mondays every week we're gonna be discussing that because that post about the 500k and i don't want to talk too much about it um some of those comments under that post really disappointed me but you know what 
it's a good thing it's a good thing that it was brought up because maybe there was a reason why we had that comfort we needed to have that conversation because you ladies know need to know your word because let me tell you something these dusty knuckles they know their words they know their words okay so if dusty men know their word why don't you <laughs> Um, but I think I pretty all oh, ladies by the way please do not miss Thursday's event on my patreon because this is going to be a good one we are going to be talking about narcissism narcissistic men narcissistic psychotic and sociopathic men okay we're going to talk about that because trust me I am I am I am I am sure that there are there, are, there is at least one person dealing with a narcissistic toxic person in their life because i believe that everyone everyone has come across someone like that and this is a very very important topic to discuss and i just want to talk about this and just get it out of the way okay i literally had a guy tell me he thinks he's a catch <laughs> so maria is not lying yes girl they, they know their words these niggas know their words they really do <laughs> okay so that event the event on thursday is going to be an important one because you know you're gonna you you're, you're gonna walk away learning something because i just i don't know because i feel like see this is why i talk about this type of stuff because this this type of stuff is needed to be talked about and if you don't address these issues we, we ain't never gonna have any results at all we're not gonna have results because you know what we're just gonna have a group with a bunch of pick me's in there post and pick me posts and uh, it's never gonna stop it's gonna be like that for like three years later like i do not want that i don't want it yes one thing a narcissistic man will do is put you down about something personal because they want to lower your defenses and self-esteem so we are available for them to abuse yes ladies you need to sign up to my patreon um, the link is in the description in the link is in my bio right here on Instagram Okay, it, it You can you can pledge as low as five dollars Not a lot of investment for um, Great information. Okay, you can pledge more than five dollars if you want You know because you know all all my generous girls and thank you so much But five minimum five dollars is literally the bare minimum you can do um so please ladies please don't miss it this is going to be this is going to be a very important topic and it's, it's just it's just going to be me um i am not inviting anyone i did try to get someone some people on because i did ask i know that that there are therapists in the group and i did ask if someone with a background in psychology would like to come on but nobody volunteered so i'm just saying Yes, Thursday is gonna be lit. AF. Let me drink some water. You are. It is hot today. But I got a lot done today, and I'm so happy, ladies. You know this. I'm doing the whole quarantine. I was keeping all sorts of weird hours, like. At, at one at one point I was going to bed I was up all night and going to bed at 6 a.m. in the morning but you know like try to get up early because you, you get so much done when you get up early because like when I get up late like you know like I get up like past 10 like I don't want to do anything for the rest of the day and one thing I notice about you know successful people is that they all do wake up very early like they get they get up like 5 a.m. I think Megan Marker wakes up at 5 a.m. every morning Keep the skin hydrated to take over the world after this pandemic. Yes. <laughs> yes, Jamie. <laughs> you know, so um yeah. That and um, this is something that I've, I've I've struggled with most of my life because I'm basically a, like a night owl. And I do notice that when I wake up earlier, I do achieve a lot more. I cook. I recorded three videos like I did I, I did so much today and I'm so proud of myself 
girl, I don't know. I do not know. How do you guys get up at 5 a.m.? Like, what time What time do you have to go to bed to get up at 5 a.m.? Because please let me know. Because usually an early night for me is like midnight. <laughs> and getting up, getting up at 8 a.m. is like a huge deal for me. It's like, like I feel so good when I wake up at least 8 a.m. <laughs> so you have to go to bed between 8 and 9. Like, yo, like... At that time, that's when I have like that's when I'm most energetic though. Like around nine, eight to nine p.m. That's when I'm I'm so energetic. Like I'll get up and clean my house and stuff like like because I have so much energy around that time. Ten p.m. Even when I go to bed late, I still wake up early. Yeah, that's because you're used to. That's like your that's your that's that's like your clock. You are used to getting up early. Yep, yeah, ten p.m. is bed already. I be up way past that. I'm a night owl too. Yes, girl, the struggles. Sleeps with the curtain. Wait, let me see the sleep with the curtains open. When the sun rises, it hits your face. Okay. You know what? That actually that actually might work. That actually might work. I will try it. I'll try that. Yeah, because I really I have so many plans and so much in store um, you know, for, for you ladies and the groups and stuff like that. Like I really need to learn how to manage my time properly and you know have my you know get a, a solid schedule for myself so that i can you know be the best for you guys you know i start working around 8 p.m yeah girl me too it does work and i fucking hate it yes it, it works it really does work like getting up early it really does work but yeah i hate it too but Maybe drink some chamomile tea to relax you. That helps me and take a warm water bath. I suffer from insomnia. Yeah, Jamie. And Jamie, I know I know Jamie personally. And we used to work together. And because I feel like, you know, when, when you work um, shift, when you're like a shift worker, it really messes with your, with your sleep patterns. It really does. And I did shift work for years. Cause I was in the I was in the hospitality industry for years, yo, like years. I started waking up at five for about one month. I struggled at first, but now I don't even need an alarm. That's amazing, like because when when I try to do that, I'll probably do it for like two days, and then I'm so like yo, I I get so tired. Like I hate taking naps in the daytime. When I get up that early, I have to take a nap at some point during the day not have to i end up taking a nap at some point during the day and what what end up end up happening happening after the nap i can't sleep at night and then i'm back to square one so how do you avoid not taking that nap <laughs> i mean i guess you just keep yourself busy but if you work from home that's gonna be that's gonna be um challenging went to bed at 4 a.m. girl that's the time that, that I usually go to bed like between 4 a.m. 5 a.m. so like one time one time I went to bed at 7 7 a.m. and I was like why didn't I just why did I, why did I even bother I could have just stayed up <laughs> only nap for one hour girl even one hour like if I if I nap for one hour I cannot sleep because like I'm so used to being up all night but don't worry ladies, I am working on it. I am going to get through this because I believe in myself, y'all. I believe in myself and I'm, I know I'm going to get through this because I need to be able to manage my time better, have a have a good schedule going so that because, you know, I, I, I have all this stuff going on, you know, like the two YouTube channels, you know, two Instagram accounts, all these groups or whatnot. And then, you know, I'm working on an ebook and stuff like that. So I really need to be able to you know manage my time so that i can be the best so that i can provide you ladies with the best knowledge with the best of everything the best of myself you know i don't like i don't like coming to you ladies when i'm tired and exhausted i don't like that yes best thing for me is to work out around 8 p.m so i'll be i'll be ready i'll be tired by 10 and won't wake up until next morning okay that's a good strategy Maybe you go to sleep with some sort of background music. And you know what? You know what causes that too? Like when you're on your phone all the time and you know, because all the stuff that I do is online, I'm always on looking at a screen or something that really, um, that's really going to affect your sleep pattern. 
So um, I think one of the, the strategies they say that you should at least turn off all your phones and everything at least an hour before bedtime. I work out and I also give my myself facials. New stuff to new stuff I do in this time. Okay. Ooh, yes to self care. Meditate in bed. You will drift to sleep. Yeah, that that works. I read somewhere in a health magazine that naps aren't good for us. But if you try to keep a strict step, a, a strict sleep schedule like ten to five every night, you will get used to it. Yeah, you think? Yeah, you think naps are not good? But why? Animals take naps, and they're fine. I don't think that's true, though. Like not everything you read it, read it out there is true, because animals take naps all the time and they're fine. So and we're no different from them. So it's okay to take naps. But you know, I just try to avoid taking naps because when I take a nap during the day, I can't sleep at night. They also say it's good to leave your phone in another room and go into bed. Well, you yeah, see, I can't do that because I usually, every night I put on, um, you know, some some sub subliminal or some kind of chant music or something like that. And that really helps me go to sleep. And what I've been, um, what I've been listening to almost every night for the past two months is the Lakshmi Mantra. And what it does, it attracts, it helps you attract abundance, money, prosperity. I'm going to post a link to the mantra in the group, ladies, and um, you, you ladies should, should start listening to it. Read a book before bed, it helps. Not e-books, physical books. Yes, that, that, that really does help because trust me, I, be, I, I always fall asleep when I'm reading. I take three naps a day. Wow! I love ASMR. Girl, I think ASMR is so weird. I hate that shit. That is so weird. But a lot of people are into it though. Yes, please post it. I will I will post it. I'll post the mantra that I've been listening to every night before I go to bed. And it really helps. It's really helpful. Like I'm telling you, you're gonna see. And while you're listening to it, ladies, make sure that you're visualizing. And you know, it will help you go to sleep. Like visualize the life that you want, visualize abundance. What I like to do also is like I I I visualize that money is always fall like money is like raining. Like, you know, I go outside and I like I'm in my living room and I'm waist deep in money. I love to visualize that when I'm listening to that and it really it, it really helps. Like you're gonna see a difference in your life. You're gonna see that you're attracting money and you gotta believe that you're gonna attract money and you gotta expect to attract money. It really helps. You know, so y'all can't say I never, I never give you bitches nothing, okay? <laughs> okay, so um, nobody's commenting, nobody's asking any questions. I think I'm done. Um, yeah, I think I'm done saying what I got, I gotta say. Should I upload this on YouTube? Or no? What do you ladies think? Should I upload on YouTube? Would you like would you ladies ladies like me to upload this um this live on YouTube? Okay, so one person says yes, one person say no, no need to. One other person said yes. Okay, I'm getting more yes than no, so sorry Hannah. <laughs> I'm gonna upload because I didn't I did not swear a lot in this video like that last video when I went back I was like oh my god I can't believe I was swearing that much and that's another thing that I'm working on you watch and see soon I'll just be this prim and proper person like I would never swear ever <laughs> but you know thank you ladies for you know putting up with it <laughs> but yeah we were talking about um and yeah the last video we were talking about the hang me downs like when i started thinking about all that stuff like i started swearing because that ish really gets up my nerve <laughs> and i'm a passionate person and you all know when i get passionate like i can't help myself right <laughs> keep your savageness girl okay but you know what? I I will keep my savageness girl, but um yeah, I really have to pull back on the swearing. Because you you know who swears a lot too sugar for us. 
it's like she she can't help it like uh, she swears all the time like she can't help it but you know what she be dropping gems and i love her <laughs> so yeah, yeah if you know who sugar fuzz is um 10 points if you know who sugar fuzz is on instagram is she still on instagram though i don't even i can't remember but yeah i gotta go guys um it is hot today i gotta go eat something just don't swear around men oh i never swear around men like the first time my husband heard me swear we were already married <laughs> he could you know he couldn't believe it <laughs> he, he couldn't believe he couldn't believe it you know you know how because of me okay so i'm going to upload this on my youtube channel ladies if you do not if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel and you're here i do not know why so you know just go to the my bio on my instagram page and click on my bio you're gonna see there's good there's gonna be three links on there i think there's my instagram my patreon and some other link i can't remember what did i put what? yeah i got three links in there okay so okay ladies i gotta go bye okay how do i end this oh